So the first project that we're going to be doing today is this super easy sock snowman and you can do this with your kids or with your boyfriend or anyone really because they're super easy. We are going to start by filling our socks with rice and to do that you're going to want to put it over the top of a cup like this to help prevent spillage or get someone to help hold it open for you while you pour in the rice. Keep in mind you will probably want more rice than you think you will need just so you can get a nice fat snowman. And then next, once you pour all your rice, just kind of generally find the area that you want the neck to be placed and put a rubber band on the top of the head and then around the neck. Next, you'll need some cute fuzzy socks or decorative socks of your choice. And what I'm going to do is just cut the sock halfway down here and this top part will be for the hat. And then you'll also most likely want to trim off the excess on the top of the head before putting the hat on. So with your section of the sock for the hat, you just roll up the bottom into a little cuff and you instantly get a little beanie hat and it's so cute. Next, I cut a few more little sections into the sock to make other pieces for the snowman. This little strip that I'm cutting here is just going to go around the neck of the snowman to be the base of the scarf. And then I'm also going to cut another identical section just like it, except for cutting it in half. That way I can tie it around that piece to make a completed scarf. And now your snowman is fully dressed. So next I'm going to be making a little white pom-pom to go on top of my pink hat. If your sock already had a white toe to it, or you want the pom-pom to be the same color as the sock, all that you do is cut the section of the sock for the hat a little bit longer, add some kind of stuffing into the tip of the toe, and tie it off with embroidery floss. Next, you get to start decorating your snowman, and I will be using a hot glue gun to glue everything on. I'm going to be adding these super cute white heart buttons that I got from AliExpress. And then I'm also going to be using these pearls for the eyes, and I'm going to color them in black with a sharpie. I'm sure they have something at Joann's that would be perfect for this and are already black, but I already had these and I just thought that I would use them. Next, just put them on your snowman and line them up right where you want to be, and then lift one up and put a tiny glue dot where it was, and make sure not to put too much glue or else it'll squish out around it. All that you need for the little nose is just the very end of an orange pipe cleaner, and then you just add a little bit of glue and stick that in fairly close to the eyes on the face. I'm also going to be adding this adorable little pink rose on the scarf to add a little bit of decoration and girliness. And then last but not least is adding blush to your snowman, and I just used my own makeup palette with a little bullet brush, and I feel like that just really completes the snowman and brings it to life. And that is it for your little sock snowman! And it's so fun to make them in all different sizes and colors, they're also amazing for gifts, or just to decorate your whole entire house with. So the next DIY that we're going to be doing is a white tool tree. I just got this wooden base and wooden rod from Joann Fabrics for super inexpensive, and I just had my dad trim down the rod to the size that I was wanting for the tree, and then hot glued it onto the base, and then I just set it aside to cool while I work on my tool. For this one you need super duper basic sewing skills. You just put a knot at the end of your thread, and then start sewing on the tool, and you just go up and down on the tool just to kind of create a gather as you can see here. So you're just going to want to do a stitch like this. It doesn't really have to be perfect, just make sure it's wide enough to gather it up like so. And you're going to want to sew on quite a bit of tool, that way you can get a gather that kind of goes all the way around in a circle. So once you have it all the way gathered and it looks like enough to go around your wooden rod, then you just sew around, making sure not to close the hole in the middle. Then you're just going to want to slide that onto your wooden rod and trim around it to the desired length of the widest part of your tree. I decided to do 5 inches out to start with. Once I started adding more layers, I just started to eyeball it and just do a little bit shorter each time, that way it'll start to look like a Christmas tree. Since I was making a pretty large tool Christmas tree, I decided to take this to the sewing machine, that way I could sew through a lot of fabric to make my full circles faster and add all the layers. You could of course sew all of this by hand, but I would just suggest making a little bit smaller of a Christmas tree. Thank you. 
If you do plan on doing this on a sewing machine, here's just a quick little tip on how I sew the circles. Once you are done and have your excess string, just pull it all tight, and I would also save all the excess string because there will be a lot. Just cut it shorter and thread a needle onto it to then sew to the other side. Keep adding layer after layer of tulle until you've reached the top. And then I glued on just a little bit of excess tulle just to cover up the wooden base so then whenever I put my topper on I didn't have to try and cover up the wood. And then I just went ahead and added my little snowflake topper. You can also add a cute little garland to it like this. I just added this faux fur one in white and I thought it looked super pretty and luxury. And that is it to your tool tree. You can make it in any color or style or size and they're super beautiful and girly. Next we're going to be making little glitter reindeer ornaments and I couldn't quite find the reindeer silhouette that I wanted so I made this one on my own which I'll link as soon as I can on my blog. So I printed my design out on a piece of paper so I could cut that out and use that as a reference whenever I am cutting out my foam. So once I've taped it onto my thicker piece of foam paper, which I got at the Dollar Tree by the way, I'm just going to trace it out in pencil and take the design off. And then I'm just going to use an X-Acto knife to cut out the shape. Definitely be sure to take your time with this process and be really careful because you don't want to have any accidents or cut yourself or anything like that. So once you have your reindeer form all cut out and ready, we're just going to be painting glue onto it so we can fully cover the whole thing, that way we don't have any spots that are missing glitter. The glitter that I'm using was from Michaels and it was by Martha Stewart in the color Kunzite, and it's like this really nice light lilac pink. So I'm just going to sprinkle that on to get a nice layer of glitter on there. Now I am also going to add some glue to the edges of the reindeer and then sprinkle some glitter onto that side as well. Once it's dry, just flip it over and paint some more glue onto the other side and then also cover that side in glitter. So after applying glitter to the reindeer, I'd also recommend adding a sealant to it so it doesn't shed glitter everywhere. And then you can also pour all of the glitter back into the bottle if you did it on paper like this which I would definitely recommend. You can leave your little glitter reindeer just like this for decorations, or you can turn them into ornaments like I'm gonna do. What you will need is just a little bit of string of your choice. I chose this glittery silver string. You're just going to tie it into a knot with a loop at the top, like so, and then cut off the extra and hot glue the knot to the back of the reindeer. You could also drill a hole through and string the string through that, but I decided to do this way. And now you have cute, glittery little reindeer ornaments. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did and subscribe. Love you guys so much and happy holidays.